What characterizes a society the best? What signs make us understand how a city lives? A bicycle is a good tool to explore a city, and exploring the bike culture is a good approach to understanding local society. What can a bike portrait tell us? Come on to a bike trip with me. I'll show you. Lazava, Ukraine. A small provincial town where I was born. The most popular bike is called Ukraine. It's a simple and a cheap bike. People modify and customize bikes for their own needs. Just from looking at bike, you can understand who owns it and what they do. Kharkiv, Ukraine. The bike portrait of Kharkiv is a mountain bike, even though the mountains are far away. This big industrial city has bad conditions for cycling. Nevertheless, a contradiction between culture and counterculture creates a fertile ground for resistance to the existing system. Kyiv, Ukraine. A bike portrait in Kyiv is a kid's bike. Children ride bikes there, but when they grow up, they become car drivers or passengers who neglect the rules on the road and their aggressive driving, fighting for their place under the sun. I changed my aggressive mountain bike to beach cruiser there to feel calmer and safer. That's where I first got the idea of bike portraits. Berlin, Germany. The Berlin bike is a work of art. It has tons of strange and funny accessories. The city breathes fully with freedom and a bike is a mode of self-expression there. I got an idea to make a video of random bike bells and compose a city streets melody. After that, I decided to continue recording bike bells in other cities. Paris, France. The continuation of bike bells video project failed in Paris. The local rule is that your bike has to be really bad so that no one will want to steal it. Fancy Parisians ride on junkie bikes and invest money in a bike lock razor than in the bike itself. In Paris I had a temporary bike. Its owner told me, oui, oui. if you can fix it, take it. I did it and had fun on it. Who cares what bike you ride if you can ride it in Paris? Concord, New Hampshire. When I came to United States, I realized that the distance here are longer as a mile is longer than a kilometer. The Concord bike portrait is an old road bike. It seems that time stopped here and the New England landscape seems untouched. Therefore, retro is appropriate. Most of the cyclists are seniors, but they look very fit, most probably from regular workouts on their bikes. Roanoke, Virginia. It is a small city in the American South. The bike portrait is a bike bought from Walmart at the Black Friday sale. It is used only several times, if at all. A bike stays outdoor and has a rusty chain. No care, no love. However, you can find many bike trails to ride it that have scenic views. But first you need to mount your bike to a car to get it to a spot where you can ride it. New York City. You can see all the above bike portraits on one street in New York in 5 minutes. The city accepts all types, sizes and colors of bikes. There is no single bike portrait in New York City. It has many of them. The city speaks to its bikers. Most of the signs are restrictions, but at least they've opened a conversation. Your speed in New York City seems to depend on the size of your handlebars. People who ride fast and far have narrow handlebars, so they can maneuver through the traffic. People who bike for pleasure can afford to have wider handlebars and take their time. During the ride, your hair takes the shape of a helmet, so that all day long you have a hair like a dinosaur. You can recognize other dinosaurs around and give them a look that you are members of the secret Dino Hair Club. If I stay in New York longer, I already know what bike I need. If I move to another city or country, I'm sure I will bike there. Cycling since I was 6 years old, I realized that there are no bad conditions for riding a bicycle. All conditions are perfect. You just need to find the right bike and the right approach for riding. Next time you see a bike on the streets, think about how it is an extension of the culture of its city.